welcome to the Calco Initiative. Joe, how are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah, feeling pretty yeah, good. We're uh, we're in the 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 presence of of, of greatness. Yeah, for sure. From from, uh, from canoe design to yeah. canoe paddling. Yeah, it's 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 been fun. Yeah. So we got with us right now. We got uh, Stevie Boy and his brother Kevin. Hi. Kevin, how do you? Oh, hold on. Let me bring <coughs> let me bring you guys down. I'm sorry, Kevin. How do you say your last name? Quarter. Yeah. Quarter. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So um, wait. Since we're talking about names, I, Steve, we gotta ask: How do you pronounce <laughs> your last name? My last name? Yeah. Tehotata. Te That's Te Tehotata. Te okay. okay. Yeah. Te so my next question is: Why? And, and maybe it's a French, right? Like, like, like why do people say Tehotata? Uh, it's kind of like uh, you know the young guys from our generation don't okay. really keep the pronounce it yeah. the good Pronun- pronunciation mm-hmm. of the Taishan, you know yeah abbreviate so, make them yeah, fast sometimes they like okay. short shorten the things and yeah. sometimes like, that's why the H is like pronunciated like the French like show you know interesting but the first okay. meaning of H O is like ho you know mm-hmm. but that's uh, kind of. Uh, they're like uh, it's just because many of our uh, Taishan people forget the language. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why well, it's I going mean, this way. Eh? We have it all over the world. Yeah. Hawaiian Samoan. Yeah. 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 I mean, mm-hmm. I'm Samoan. I don't speak a word of Samoan. Well, I speak enough Samoan, but I I don't know. I don't know how. To, I can't communicate very well, you know. But I know enough. Okay. To get in trouble. I think my generation, yeah. maybe, I'm not really sure, but we may be the last one who can speak uh, Tahitian currently, mm-hmm. you know? Interesting. Yeah. And then the things that uh, we're coming from little island like Bora Bora and all the island around Tahiti, mm-hmm. uh, they speak more uh, oftenly Tahitian than uh, the one who live on the mainland, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, ma- you know, back home in Hawaii, you know, the language is coming back. Right, yeah. you know, and, they're studying it. Yeah, you know, uh, one the other day we're we're paddling, and you know, one of the pa- I forget who asked me. It was like, "Hey, Joe, are you doing the you you doing the Molo solo?" And I was like, "Oh no, I'm I'm not doing the Kaivi solo." You know, so I was like, "Hey, let's let's start a movement. Let's let's not call it the Molo solo." And, right. and I speak on behalf of my mother, my grandmother. You know, uh-huh. abbreviating mm-hmm. Hawaiian words. You know, mm-hmm. I, I kind of said it like, "Hey, man." Before you go paddle, you rig your own canoe, right? You're, you're going to rig your canoe before you paddle, right? So you might as well pronounce the whole word, <laughs> you know? Sure. So anyway, but yeah, just I think we should start the movement. It's, it's the Kaivi solo. <laughs> yeah. Or just or just maintain the language. Or just maintain the language. Yeah, yeah. one or the other, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, Steve, um, you were um, junior teatro champion at 17. In mm-hmm. that same year, you won Te Aito, mm-hmm. and then three weeks later, you won Super Aito at yeah. 17. Yeah, that was... And, and from there, you became a legend and just built on top of it. So do yeah. you feel the pressure of, of maintaining that status? Like, you know, I know a lot of people in Tahiti probably look up to you, you know, and, look, and follow your workouts mm-hmm. and do that kind of stuff. Do you feel um, you feel the pressure to be uh, a champion all the time? Uh, it's uh, not really kind of well, pressure. Way to lead with that question. I know. Well, we're just gonna get right into it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> just drag you right yeah, into yeah, the deep end. Right right yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Bang. Well, just wait. Just I want to ask wait. him if he borrows yeah, if he's borrowing <laughs> Ichi Tua's jacket from the last race because it looks a lot like it. Just wait. Just wait. Because the question that's coming to Kevin next is going to be even tougher. Yeah, I already nice know the nice question. Nice yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah uh, there's there's not the really kind of pressure because uh, you know uh, in Tahiti you we have a word say like. You have to paddle before walk, you know. <laughs> like it's it's normal for us to paddle first, you know. Mm-hmm. And then since uh, our really young age, all of the Taishan from my generation, I I speak. Huh? All the all the young guys wanna be champion, you know. And that's the that's the main things they have huh? yeah. when they growing up. And that was um, I was one of them too. And then I just follow follow the. 
follow the train, follow the people, and then day by day, you don't see the time come, and then you win your first race, then you enjoy so much huh? the sports you love that you can't feel anything than happiness and enjoyment. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes there's some pressure huh? when you begin to to maintain the winning, huh? the winning streak, and someone, like you say, look at you. Huh? But after uh, after when the years pass, you you realize that uh, to win is not everything. The others, you know, no, it's not yeah. everything. You don't have to yeah. take care about the others, but it's you. This is you, you know. <laughs> Every time when I winning, I realize that I only focus on myself, you know. Every time when I finish second to tenth, is like I'm way more focused on other guys beside me, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's happened when you don't really train really well for a race or something like this. You begin to to like uh, Re to well, you refocus yeah. again, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. When when you when you have the good training, it's uh, really easy to refocus uh, on your goal. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's the that's kind of the main things. And then no, this, uh, there was no pressure. Every day I lead. We we as Hal, as Taishan, we live day by day too, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah. we just go do our things during the day. Like we go work and then we go paddle the afternoon and then we have a race the weekend. We do the race and we won. It's okay. We don't we don't win now. It's kind of we used to now, you know. We yeah. we have like uh, 40 races in the season down in Tahiti, so. You have to learn how to lose too, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, it's only math, right? Exactly. Right. To go yeah. forty and all, right. it's like, <laughs> oh man, chances are pretty. So, Kevin, you know, for you as a younger brother, yeah, how much pressure is on you to perform like your brother does? Yeah, I, I, I just trying to to walk in his path, you know. Okay. Because of what he did before, huh? He, he was already champion at 17. Me, at 17, I was just thinking about party, you know? Right. Yeah, party and, and yeah, like younger, you know? And right now, because when I was 20, 25th, I, I won my, my first first uh, v1 race mm -hmm. so in that moment something happened in my head you know <laughs> make me a little bit uh focused focused yeah. of of my objective you know yeah yeah so the last two races or last couple races you finished in second and third yeah sure. so you feel like uh that focus that you had in 25 is, is helping you today, you know, a couple of years later, you're 27 now, right? Yeah, sure. So it's helping you grow and... Yeah. Okay. It's maintained me to be very uh, constantly, you know, in my, in my work mm -hmm. or in my training session. And because of Steve, we train together every day. So he pushes. Yeah, he pushes me a lot and helped me a lot too. Yeah. Um, we ha we heard a story before you guys came over here that when Stevie when Stevie trains, so does like sixty other Tahitians train yeah. too. Every so day. so your club your club goes out and guys fill in behind you as you guys go up the channel or up, up the lagoon and then before you hit the pass. Uh, yeah 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 since uh, since many years now because huh? we. We live in Pire on the east side of Tahiti, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's the place where most of the races down in Tahiti happen, you know. Okay. And then we are lucky to have this place as our training training place too, you know. And then every day we live uh, we live uh, by the water at four four thirty, and then we begin a.m. Uh, a.m. p.m. It depends how hard you want to go, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we begin by ourselves, me, my brother, and some of the guy in the hood. And then it's begin like to be five, and because we constantly go on the same time every day. And then when we go, it's not to only go play. Yeah? You know, we go really uh, for training. Other, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we we love to say like we it's like a everyday theater <laughs> yeah. when we train. Huh? It's like. Uh, 
Well, that's how you stay competitive, I would imagine, right? Yeah. To every day put you on the race condition, eh? mm -hmm. to race with the others. But after you have to change a little bit your kind of training, like distance, intensity, mm -hmm. and everything else in you know? it. But uh, the main thing is to try to still stay on the race philosophy. Eh? Every day you paddling, you know. I even when you go easy, you always try to maintain a hundred percent technique stroke or focus. Eh? Even yeah. when you don't get that hard physically, you know. And that's what we do every day. If it's in the morning, in midday, or in in the night, uh, we try to go as hard as we can. Even if we don't go that long, because there's some people who go way more further than us, uh, way more longer, like two, three times longer than mm -hmm. us. As we just go like one, two times a day, like 45, one hour. But it's like a hard well, when you all out, when, yeah. when you finish that that 100%. hour you like you don't know yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. you yeah. can go rest huh? <laughs> so so speaking of you know racing and you know every day is like teaito mm -hmm. justin can probably attest to this you know I, i've never been to teaito <laughs> before mm -hmm. but training the, for teaito the, the, the yeah, last yeah, when, <laughs> when when we say uh, every day is teaito well, yeah. we mean in like uh, as just as, just I, as i say before we when we begin by five and then after the guys around went and came yeah. came by, and then we we used to go out by PA, go out by Arwe, go outside, and then make a big lines, and you know, yeah. and then day by day the lines get bigger, yeah. And then now we like every day we like 50, 60 to sixty canoes Jeez. every day. Yeah. So <laughs> I was I was gonna say that our version of Tei to our first iteration, if you will, the. What, what I'm saying is the last time you were here and you battled with Danny, mm -hmm. that to me that was like watching a Te Aito, right? That okay. was that, and, and it was we, we it got was, to see that. It was know. the most exciting uh, one man race I've ever seen. Well, up up, up until we saw Danny and Hiti Tua go at it, man, that was later. Amazing. That was oh, that was oh, God, yeah. man. But me too, and but, I saw the finish. Was yeah, like, yeah, wow. <laughs> but so going back I saw, to, I can feel your guys' excitement. Too. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I, I was I was speechless. You know? <laughs> I was speechless. I I can't wait to <clears throat> talk to him about it. Uh, oh, he's Tua, yelling in the mic. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, but but let's go back to your race against Danny. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know. I, you probably had. You said you have like forty races a year. So this is probably what like fourteen races ago or whatever. But can do you remember the last time you were here and you mm -hmm. you battled Danny? Yeah. Good. And and sure. you remember? I, I remember you said something. Um, and I th I thought you said fishing line, but I think you said something about a different line. Or I, I don't okay, know if you remember. Okay, okay, okay. Do you remember something? Because because if I can recall. Uh, you you and Danny were together. It was a nine mile race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know kilometers. Nico, can you translate nine? So last race was nine miles, right? The first yeah, race, 13, 14, 13 14 kilometers, yeah. kilometers. Yeah, 13, 14. short for them. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So you you and Danny, I like to say, uh, like or like you guys like to say, it was neck to neck mm -hmm. at uh, up until mile seven, six and a half, seven. Yeah, right. So what is that? Right at the kilometer. end. Okay. So, what happened? Can you remember, like, what? So, because it looked like, from what I could tell, let's, Danny. Wait, Danny was. Let's go. preface this though. Danny even said on camera that the pace was unbelievably crazy. I, yeah, and I, I want to. Yeah, I know. He's like, I don't know how long I could hold this pace, and then I look back, and there was a big gap between three and four. Mm -hmm. So you know, he's like, okay, so I settled well, the, down a little bit, and the tide was going out super hard. Right, right. It was heavy. So you guys are mm -hmm. flying, right? Yep. So like, they must have been, you know, eight. I think I think live I was saying oh they're probably like seven but in hindsight now it sounds like they were nine, like eight, eight and, and a half, half nine, nine. Yeah. yeah going out exactly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. and then so I guess that means you guys are fighting current on the way back okay. um, to the finish. Can you can you elaborate? Can you can you speak on the what? Races? Yeah yeah what, against Danny like what. When he pulled away, uh, yeah. Joe, no, Joe, no, is, Joe is asking you to be a good loser and explain how you <laughs> no, lost the no, race. No, no, no. I, I just, I just love no, to get in the mind of a champion, right? right? You know, I, right. I just and and I, I saw it, but I, you know, so. No, oh, yeah, that race was 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 really fun. Yeah, I knew that the when I will come here, Danny will be sharp and fit enough to hold a good pace. Huh? Yeah. 
and uh, and I was uh, not uh, not to say uh, not to to say anything, but I was uh, kind of uh, just coming back from training it's your, like it's your off season earlier, yeah. you're coming out off season yeah because yeah. us in Tahiti we have like from uh, the end of this the mm -hmm. mid December until uh, the Boy. end of January is right. our kind you're of end the, yeah. season yeah. 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 but just for this race yeah we like uh, I, I was training like a little bit earlier like two weeks before that's what a lot then not enough <laughs> to, yeah, yeah. To, to come here and then yeah well, i was trying because i knew that danny was fit and then i was just trying to hold a good pace uh, from the start to not try to hide behind him until the end just try to hold and then i was trying to stay by his side but i you already can feel that the guys beside you is fit or no by uh -huh. just five minutes yeah, huh? yeah. right and then yeah. when we took the start i was trying to push uh, uh oh you guys, the, you guys of, pushed uh, yeah by yeah. and then when right i saw like that 200 yards yeah. out yeah uh, and you know and sorry to 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 pause you i i wish that we were closer to you during the race when when you guys went up along like outside the harbor right mm -hmm. there's a little bit exactly. action right exactly and and it seemed like he was still able to exactly right uh, that's when i realized that i will be hard for me to ah, win the race you know okay because i was trying to hold the pace with him during the long flat part and when we went out i saw the water a little bit moved that's why i begin to take the lead eh, before yeah, yeah. i turn uh, the red buoy to surf a little bit yep. and then the water was moving and then we were like battling together and then i had some little waves i take a little lead but as the surf path was not that far so it was right. only like yeah. short less right. than yeah. five yeah. minutes yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, you can make mile. enough well, it gaps was, it was four or five guy. minutes for you guys it was <laughs> probably like eight <laughs> to ten <laughs> for everybody for else, else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it was not long enough to make some difference you know i make a good turn but danny did re pretty well too on the surf i take some bumps i look at my right side he, he got some bumps too and uh -huh. we're even talking together uh, like uh, we we were surfing really good <laughs> so that was so that was your first indicator like oh wow like he, exactly from the time he fit. was keeping the pace with me in the, yeah, uh, yeah. during the ocean i was okay. looking to have a little lead before going back into yeah. the flat part uh. yep but by realizing when i when we were turning the red buoy by realizing the you only you already can see the buoy where you were gonna turn so uh, you can realize that it's gonna be really short yeah and at the time we turned to make the crosswind until the flat part we were together i was uh, already realized that would be hard for me to win and then at the end uh, danny got a little nice wave too when we get into the harbor you know the harbor you yeah run on the rocks yeah yeah, yeah. Then I was yeah, I was a little bit late, and then Danny got the little bit yeah, different, just, just a little bit, yeah, and then yeah. bam, he, he went, and then I was trying to from from the from from that part, I was pushing to try to maintain behind his back, eh? and then I was staying uh, behind him until the moment uh, we were training with Nico the week before, and then there's a bridge, kind of bridge okay. yeah. for that turning from. Uh, from the right to the left and Nico told me that at the at the at the bridge is better to to put the line straight to the right side huh? before the bridge and then get the straight line yeah. uh, okay. already on the right side but i had already like uh, uh, a canoe's uh, behind can uh, be behind Danny you know and then when he was turning to the left i was decided to take that uh, that line and that was the time i i lost Danny you know lost cuz when i when I went to the right, he was keeping on the left side. Okay. And then he make like two canoes. And then from that, yeah, I, I wasn't hard, able to. So, so what you're saying is Nico's fault. No, 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 not really. <laughs> he was, he was maybe. <laughs> maybe no, um, maybe it was a good line if I was in front, you know, that was the best uh, line. But yeah, when yeah. you already have a kind of uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. gap like a yeah, gap or yeah a, yeah yeah because i already yeah. have a, like of one and a half canoes yeah, behind yeah, and yeah. even if i had a straight line because danny was pushing hard too at that time huh? yeah no it's, danny was pretty fast that day and then even when we came back on the same line i was trying to uh, get back yeah. uh, behind him yeah it was like 10 minutes left before the finish i think he realized it that was the moment and then he pushed it then 
<laughs> that's happened. <laughs> so I will say that after after the fact, you know, we did the broadcast and that was all done. And, you know, we, I don't know, we were hanging around and doing whatever. Um, Steve had said something to me that was important, import, very important to me, off camera, whatever. Yeah. He says, I'm very thankful that Danny pushed and, and you know, beat me in this race because it's going to spark so much interest out, you know, in Tahiti. Oh, and it's going to draw, right, yeah. right. It's going to draw, right. So, <laughs> and then, the, and then the next race, you know, Danny's, you know, half a canoe length behind Haiti, yeah, and then beat him in the last, you know, fifty yards. Yeah, yeah exactly. freaking that, amazing, that was crazy. Yeah. And that then was... all of a sudden, now we got twenty Tahitians here. Yeah, like, I know. Per, yeah. It's like exactly what you said. You, you, yeah, Steve, Steve said it. He goes, "It's good that this happened because it's going to bring interest." I'm like, "Oh, okay." I mean, that's very gracious of you to say, right? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, but in reality, it's true. Well, it's yeah, a real it's, deal. I mean, think about, right? Like, you know, from what I'm gathering, just in the... We've only been talking, I don't know how long, but... 20 minutes. You're... The joy that you exude, you mm -hmm. know, when you paddle, it, it's... It, it's almost... It's like... Yeah, brother. It, it, it you overshadows are, you're the pressure. You're exciting to watch. Yeah, exciting to watch. So I was talking. Right? I was talking. You know, we like sports, right? Like other kind of sports. And I know, you know, we you don't have ba like basketball and football. It's, it's uh, different in Tahiti, but money was, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was comparing. Uh, I was comparing. You know that comment you made about Brazil and like yeah. predicting. Oh yeah, it's like the Brock Purdy, like the guy. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, he predicted Brock Purdy. Stevie Boy kind of reminds me of Steph Curry. He's he's great, right? But it's he's equally joyful. Like I, I just I appreciate you know like when you watch a great paddler or a great player, and, and you just you could just tell they're having fun, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and how you you don't let the the moment or the pressure eat at you. And and I and I get the sense that this guy Steph Curry does the same, and just how. Um, you know, he he he's just gracious in if if he wins or loses, right? And exactly. and hearing how you, you know, how you train back, you know, with your brother and and the sixty other people that are how inclusive you are, you know, that's <laughs> not I I don't you know I don't really hear that from a lot of no you know, that's like I mean we made the comment earlier that you know it's like when you watch a guy like Danny on the water and the groups of people he has around him. Yeah, like same. Steve is, yeah. Steve is that Super guy there in Tahiti, absolutely. right? Absolutely, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and it's it's. I think the sport knows how to, you know, it it, it it's it. And you can't explain it. You know, you, we talk about feeling, right? Mm -hmm. But the the sport, I always like to say, the Kaivi Channel, the sport, it it gives it to certain people who who gives it back, right? Uh -huh. And I and I feel like you. You're giving it, you know, uh -huh. and, and, and that's rare, man. So it's, yeah. it's, it's really, yeah. So, um, Kevin, you know, th is this your, uh, is your first time here to California? Um, I already did the... Uh, Disneyland? The Catalina. Ah. Oh, <laughs> you, did, you did Catalina. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you did... Um, In the, the 2017. Yeah. 17. Yeah. Who did you come with? Uh, a crew from Tahiti. Okay. Not, not famous, but... Uh, you guys are juniors at the no, no seventeen. No. You'd have been yeah. What crew? Um, I don't remember. Were you guys in the five? No, the no. Five? Uh, no. We we take the the, the knack. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. The the white one, huh? that the yeah, paddling connection. Okay. Um, take the the USB oh, 333. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. This one. Yeah, yeah. So we came sixth. At Catalina, who uh, was that the year that um, Hotu steered? No, he didn't steer you guys that year. No, oh, okay, Hotu came third with, oh, okay. with Moata Mighty. Yeah? yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. okay, awesome. Okay, so coming coming to California in in September, right? It's a lot warmer, mm -hmm. but you know, it's it's late April right now. Yeah, the weather is okay for us, like you know, it's warm for us. <laughs> Yeah. But are, are you are you cold? Are you feeling it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. a month ago, <laughs> really, I know. was parking a race in now. So, so a month ago, I when think Hiti to a feel yeah. really, really bad. Huh? When Hiti when Hiti came, he was in a yeah. he paddled a jacket and gloves. Yeah, right, he was so wild. I saw, yeah. so crazy. Blew my mind. Yeah, it was, it was like 
assassin mitts. He, he looked like a, or it looked like he was a, he was, I don't know, he looked like a, he going to a snow. secret agent, or, <laughs> yeah. you know, it was just, man. Yeah, yeah that's uh, how, uh, that's, uh, that's what I always say to Nico when I come here the first time. We went like uh, the week before the race. We were trying to go like two times a day yeah? from Monday to Wednesday. Yeah? Right. And then we were really cold, you know. And then every time we went on water, I was like, yeah. Nico, yeah, bro, I can't realize how you guys love these sports. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know what? This, this winter, as really this was the coldest winter mm -hmm. that we've had in our as, really long time. As, as in Tahiti, if, if we have that, that weather, yeah. We will be like playing ping pong or staying <laughs> ping pong, <laughs> you know, pickleball, stay, pickleball, stay, stay in the one place. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> we well, you really look at uh, the paddling, people that paddle you know? in Canada, That's right? I mean, wow. they paddle all That's year so round up there. Mm -hmm. As we can't even realize, it, just this kind of weather is Freezing. crazy for us. So yeah. can't even realize how Canada is. Well, it's like supposed to be really warm on Saturday, so you guys should be feel uh, right at home. Yeah, it nice. would be perfect. It, nice. I think it, it might be um, marine layer, like. Gloomy, like kind of foggy. Okay. Shh. I think in the morning. <laughs> say that out loud. We I want mean, we want sun, a little bit of wind yeah. out of the west. That's what we want. Big <laughs> wave. <laughs> so uh Kevin, I've seen uh photographs of you previous on Facebook where you've been on a teamy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um how when did you start paddling uh Tehuitawa? Um I start to paddling with uh, Tehuitawa um Two years ago okay yeah what what besides besides your brother paddling for Tehuitawa what is the difference in the canoe and how do you feel you know does the Tehuitawa feel better to you and conditions change it or you know what is that how you know how can you kind of talk about that or oh firstly just <laughs> because of him huh? okay firstly yeah okay because uh, it's my old brother and, and it's it's um it's always you you wanna be like your old brother you know mm -hmm. and yeah because the the timmy and the teorita it's very similar when you catch the way of in flat water mm -hmm. but because if if it's tv boy you know and he he won m many many races in tahiti so even he take other canoe huh? he, he can already win uh, anytime you know yeah yeah there's a saying we have here in california and the saying is you could take the fastest boat in the world and put 60 hechans in it it's going to be fast you could also take 60 hechans and put them on a picnic bench and it's still going to be fast sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah. right right but um it's um i was curious to know that because uh I always spend time on Facebook. I look at stuff, look at people, you know, who I'm talking to or who I see, and I just kind of curious of the background and, and and how that was. I know I know Timi is a very prominent um, canoe in Tahiti, mm -hmm. and it seems that a lot of the guys are still on the traditional rigging. You know, Timi. I don't see a lot of guys on the new ones yet. But maybe it'll, maybe it'll you know get there. But um, I just saw pictures of you on a Timi years past. Mm -hmm. And now you're on a Teru Tawa, so I was just curious about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that's cool. I think, um, you know, out of respect, just for for me, right? So um, I have a, a Matahina that I just sold to another club. Okay. And um, Will Rankenstein, Will Rankenstein, who who lives here, builds canoes here. He's building a new six a V6. He's building a new V6. I and knew. so yeah. So his design, you know, so I sold my Matahina to buy one of his because I like supporting him. Okay. You know, not that I don't care if it's faster or slower. It doesn't matter. But I just like supporting him. You know, he's your local. And he's someone I know. So I can respect that. You know, I mean, that's just how it should be, I think, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So. And in Tahiti, the, 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 the name of Steve eh? is yeah. very famous. Yeah. When I think I think too that we were talking with Mark about this. The 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 thing that the thing about that canoe that is important is to know is that it is hand built in Tahiti. Oh shit. And it's built to every paddler, right? So Joel's gonna get a different canoe than I would get, 
right for my size and everything else mm -hmm. you know cockpit will be different right the, yeah. you know the, the the beam will be a little bit wider or whatever it is and um that's uh important to note that's yeah. the the kind of thing that's really nice having something that's handcrafted and something that you ordered for yourself that's pretty cool you know mm -hmm. yeah. you know all the canoe time. brands now are all shipping out to big countries that have autoclaves and they're they're making these beautiful canoes but they're just all the same mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so you know Fai is going to china right or they we hear that all the time and we know ari and timi are now in uh, thailand so the Tao is the last of the mohicans huh yeah yep oh yeah uh, i got i gotta ask you so speaking of v1s and um kevin have you have you tried an oc1 i know i know steve has mm -hmm. So what do you what do you think of the OC one? Oh, um, in two months ago, okay, I I've been in Australia for ah. OC one race. Okay, I came third. Oh, you did just just behind uh, Kevin and Tupu. Really? Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. What did you? Uh, what canoe did you paddle? Uh, Kamanu. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. The Noyo yeah. or the uh, the old one? The huh? Puel. Oh, oh, the Puel. Puel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I remember. Steve, Remember? have you tried the No Wheel yet? Yeah, the new one. The, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Gorge, I yeah. was I was the first one to. You raced on the gorge. Tried it, huh? yeah, yeah, the gorge. Huh? I didn't race well because uh, I had some problem during the race. But yeah, I was the first one uh, who tried the No Wheel like last year. Yeah. But really, really looking forward to go on it again at the next solo in two yeah. weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I remember. I think it might have been Lewis Laughlin that that said or said this about the OC1 or, 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 or the, you know, Tahitians years ago would say, ah, yeah, the, the OC1 is just a, it's just a surf ski with, with an AMA, right? And, you know, now that, you know, we're starting to see a lot more like Stevie Boy, Kevin, Manotea, right? You, going OC1, you know, in Hawaii races Tupu. or, or, or yep. Tupu, right? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I'd like to hear what, what your thoughts on the OC one is now, you know, like, so like you're still kind of new to it. So I think your description might be, might be fresh. So what do you think? What is, what is your thoughts on the OC one? Um, the OC one, it's beginning to grow up in the world. Huh? So yeah. for a Taishan, it's no more to be on, in the water, huh? whatever, yeah. what he paddled for, you know, a log. All right. You, we're, yeah. You're going to paddle the log. Yeah. 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 Okay. But for for me, I think uh, it's more easy for for a paddler to go in for a paddler of V1 to go in OC1 because mm. they have a, a steer huh? yeah under the the OC1 um, and uh, in the V1 we we have to be stronger you know like uh, when the the way come by by the side. Or by the Alma side, you have to be stronger to to maintain your canoe straight, you know. And that's the difference between the OC1 and the V1. And the V1, eh? mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, I um, I think just from, uh, you know, everyone talks about the feeling, right? You know, when you're in the V1, your, your stroke is naturally longer, right? Mm -hmm. So that just means you're you're putting that much more time in the water, so... It's just math, right? Your feeling is going to enhance if you're putting that much, a little bit more time, right? Um, and so that makes sense that it's easier to translate into the OC one. Well, I think I think part of the part of the question is to, or not question, but the preface or context of the question is um, the benchmark, right? I mean, we we yep. we are predominantly OC one with a rudder paddling, you know, you know, community, right? That's what we grew yeah. up on. That's what we did. V1 is is something that is, although it's been around forever, this is like the first real dive we've had into exposure of V1 in California, so to speak. This race has done yeah. ridiculous oh. things for the V1, you know, for Tahitian V1 paddling. Yeah. What do you think, Steve? What's your what's your thoughts on the OC1? I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's two different things. Huh? It's two yeah. different things, but that helps a lot to coming from V1 background to jump on the OC1 than the reverse. Huh? Yeah. 
when you're coming from an OC1 to jump on the V1, it's really like you going from 10 to zero again, you know? Yeah. But when you jump from the V1 to OC1, you already have that kind of steering vision. Mm -hmm. You have the rudder to support you. I was always say like from when you jump from V1 to OC1, it's like when you jump on a from an old car to a new car who got the assistance. Huh? Right. Uh, when, mm -hmm. when you Power steering. Power yeah, steering. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yep. that's, it, it, it's easier yeah. to drive. Huh? But it's a different kind of vision. Huh? When you are on, on a V1, you want to catch the wave on the left side, so you paddle on the right side to call, to call to make the canoes go on the left. On the OC1, I don't know the others, I talk about my vision. On the OC1, I prefer stay on the left side, just push on the left uh, how you call yep. the, the left rudder, rudder, pedal, uh, pedal, pedal. Yeah. just on the uh, left pedal, and mm -hmm. then that helped me to get the wave quicker than if I'm paddling like a V1, you know. So it's two different kind of vision to opposite, catch the wave, you know. Thinking. So, yeah. so okay. instinctually though, which is uh, instinctual, instinctually because you paddle a V1 all the time. That's why it's do you technically, still, it's but technically do you still, you steer. You steer, do right? still, right? Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, what, that's yeah. my that's, question. That's you that's still try and steer OC1. By instinct. By yeah. instinct. <laughs> And then sometimes you feel it's by instinct and by reflex too. Because yeah. sometimes in the uh, KV channel, yeah. I, I did it three times. And yeah. one of those three was like pretty good surf too. And then sometimes when you take the wave like too late, the rudder is a little bit up. That's yeah. why you got to When you have that V1 vision, mm -hmm. you go in a little straight. Huh? Yeah. You forgot about the rudder huh, when you're on OC1. So that's why sometimes when it's too straight, yeah. Uh, the rudder's a little bit up and you can steer anymore. That's why you, you have to, the, we have that reflex and it's right, safer yeah, sometimes right, to pick, yeah. you know? Because you guys train it. The, yeah. yeah, the timing is completely exactly. different, mm -hmm. right? And how, that's helped a lot the to come respond. And that's mm -hmm. helped a lot to come from V1 background when you get into those moments. Huh? So yeah, um, yeah. the Kiwi, the Kiwi channel is going to be crossed again this year. It sounds like the Molokai solo is on. Are you going to paddle it? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Now, uh, since two days, it's hundred percent. Everything set. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go back home just after this race and stay train some few days down in Tahiti. Go back to the family for five days and then go back straight to Hawaii for the solo. Nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, how much time on an OC one are yeah, you gonna, gonna have gonna, before you um, race? Like two, like two, three days huh, before the race. <laughs> we usually do yeah. that. Yeah, that's, time that's, we do that's, that's kind of what you do. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. I got me. I went three times to solo. Uh, we already used to do like this with all the Taishan who come. Huh? Some of the guys go like two weeks before, but now for us to go two weeks is already hard when, with all the races we have in the right. season. So that's why we try to keep it as short so, as we can. So, uh, are you hoping for big surf in the channel, or are you hoping yeah. for flat, hot, no wind, <laughs> no nothing? <laughs> No, no, we we not because, just, because, we, we're not because. those kind of paddlers anymore. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> that yeah, was yeah. our grand, 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 grandfather, maybe. <laughs> Us, when we go on the water, we're always looking for surf, you know. A lot of Hawaiians yeah. always say, <laughs> when it's flat and hot, the Tahitians always win, but when there's surf, we can keep up. That's what they always say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, that was a long debate since uh, <laughs> yeah. my first race in Hawaii. Right. That's happened. Yeah, I, we heard a lot of story about here about it when I went first time there. When I won my first Molokai, we went with the uh, six, seven Tahitians, mm -hmm. and we were the first bunch of Tahitians who went back since many years because the first one was Lewis and George, uh, yeah. and, and some they Manutea, didn't, yeah, Manutea, Oil, yeah. They finished like top fifteen, top ten. Uh, yeah. They didn't finish uh, as they wished, you know. Yep. The and then we were like, you, yeah, uh -huh. you guys. And then yeah, twenty fourteen was yeah, our yeah. first time, and then we went Did with Rete. Oh yeah. Um, Rete was winning, yeah, right? The exactly, whole thing? exactly. We were battling, we were taking the uh, two different lines. Rete and Danny were on their side, a uh, little bit sounds, huh? yeah, like this. And then I was closer to the land. Then Rete take the lead, like, uh, like, uh, how do you say, like, uh, hun, hun, like a cap of 50, 100 meters, something like right this, right before huh? the China, China Wall, China Wall point. Yeah. yeah. And then at this time, uh, he was maybe too excited. Huh? Because yeah. I saw him, and then you can see at that time that the sound swell was pretty big. Yeah. It was and flat the, too, right? It was a flat. It, yeah, it flat was, was pretty yeah. flat from the yeah. in the channel, but uh, at the there's the channel well. walls, they start building up. Yeah, there's yeah it was like uh, four, four, four meter waves. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like, and then I, I was like right behind him. I passed Danny like ten minutes before. I was like right behind him, and I saw him like cut, take the shortcut. Huh? 
<laughs> but uh, we went we went on this place like uh, when we mm, when we come for the Molokai Ho, yeah? Yeah. We train it by Hawaii yes. every time uh, when yeah, we come yeah. with the Taishin yeah. team. And uh, we already know which place is hard to take. Uh, Dangerous, when it's, when yeah. it's kind of... Uh, risky, risky lines, And then, yeah, yeah Rete didn't mind. He went, he went in it, yeah, and I saw him take the way. I already knew that this is going to be down, you know? Yeah. And then me, I, I, I took the secure one. To the this, left. Yeah, to yeah. the left, and yeah. then I, I take the... Yeah. I, I took a way, but like a safe one, you know? Yeah. There's a little gap. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, too, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You got reef. the inside line right yeah, there, yeah. then you got the outer reef. Yeah, and, and then I just saw his canoe pop out. Yeah. Pop, mm. yeah. I was like, shit. And I, I was in my waves, you know, I just saw him like pop out. He was front of me on the wave in the head, but he was like two inside and it was like going pop out. Yeah. And then I was like, just stay in the waves until the, the finish. All the way to you know, the finish, yeah. yeah. So it was I, crazy. And then Danny finished second and then Riti came like really disappointed. I was really disappointed for him, but uh, that was the race. Uh, yeah, really I mean, have to what be. It is. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. So, so I don't know if you remember this, but be this a is good, be a good loser. <laughs> right? <laughs> Everybody got race <laughs> <back> this way, <laughs> so uh, yeah. it's yeah. gonna be yeah. better to yeah. be yeah. a good yeah. one. <laughs> so um, this story is equally as exciting as uh, Stevie Boy's story <laughs> that he just told. But I don't, I don't know if you remember, but I think it was. It might have been the last time we had the the solo, probably like 2018, mm -hmm. and um, you know, so I was a I was a representative with Kamono Composites oh, yeah. up in yeah. San Francisco, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so I was doing the solo that year, and yeah, we went to go that's paddle, what meant, yeah, 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 and that was the same year uh, they had just launched the two man, the uh, Kikaha, mm -hmm. I, I want to say, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. and um, me and uh, Keizo and I were on the the two man. Okay. By the way, he has the same. He has. A, I think he has the same birthday as you and I too. Okay. Yeah. Shout out Kazel. Right. April. <laughs> April baby. But um, so we, uh, we we're going up a, along the wall. Sorry, the camera just dropped, oh. but I just picked it back up. Okay, go ahead. We we're going up along the wall, and then and had surf. We we're surfing back, and then um, we did a couple pieces. I think Monoteo was out there, and I remember we, the the we're on the two man Kazel and I were flying just down these rollers. And we finished in front of uh, Stevie Boy, and I was yelling. I was like, "Hey, I got my. Where's my yellow jersey? Next time I see you, you gotta bring me the yellow jersey." <laughs> so I was just wondering if you brought the yellow jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta earn the polka dot jersey first. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just I was thinking we were talking about China walls. I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we were paddling up against. Uh, it, it took took Keizo and I on a two man to." You know, but yeah, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, fun. That was the last time we paddled. Kevin, are you paddling the the Molokai Channel or no? This year, yeah. I'm just thinking. Huh? We will see after the race this after, weekend. After you win this race, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, try try to, huh? but yeah, we will see. Huh? Yeah. I feel like you're uh, you're 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 a quiet guy, but I feel like you're very hungry. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah is that how you stay motivated yeah sure yeah mm -hmm. that's usually the case right with siblings yeah the, the younger sibling is the quiet learns from the older one right uh, <laughs> he did this now okay next time i'm gonna i'm gonna jab him in the, you know get him next Classic, time huh? yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like uh what do you call it death by a thousand cuts huh <laughs> yeah kevin's just back there <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it cutter or cutter or quitter Quidditch. I was Quidditch. just kidding. Was Quidditch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Quidditch. Not Cutter. Yeah. Cutter. Not Cutter. <laughs> Cutter. <laughs> Kevin Cutter. <laughs> yeah, he take the name. Uh, he take the. N he have the name of our father, and I take the name of our mother. Why? Oh, Why? Okay. Is that is that uh, customary uh, to eat, or uh, you have a choice? Uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah. You can. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is not like uh, you have to. To normally you have to wear the father's one, huh? Right. Yeah. Well, here, yeah. And then yeah, it's like. Uh, not uh easy story <laughs> to yeah, 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 okay. but, yeah. yeah you don't have to go into it but yeah. <laughs> that's interesting to I, know yeah yeah um i gotta ask you uh stevie white so we were talking about the joy that you exude you know mm -hmm. and and I, i've always felt this every time i interacted with you but but especially just watching you paddle all these youtube videos but one of my mm -hmm. favorite videos is when you paddle with uh edt uh -huh. edt um that video when you guys are training you know, and um, you guys are on the look like you guys are on like Bradley's Bradley's oh, canoe, yeah. the heavy ones, mm -hmm. and surfing. You guys are training mm -hmm. for the Molokai Hoi. Mm -hmm. 
um, you know, that video right there, that's one of my favorite paddling videos. But I was going to ask you this question or come on, comment on this a long time. Oh, yeah, big time. I wanted to, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I wanted to, well, I, I wanted to ask about, so, you know, there's that, I remember you guys are catching waves. You probably don't even remember, but I, I guess I, what I mainly wanted I'll to have the controller I put on TV. Ah. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, it would have been, that would have been yeah. a, a better idea. But, but I think back to, you know, that, that team, to me, that like in history, that, that is one of the, the best, va, you know, mm-hmm. six man teams, nine man teams, whatever you want to call it. That, I mean, think about how many really, really good paddlers came from that team. Right, we had you, Rete, uh, Kevin too. Kevin, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. Ava. Yeah. What did you did at that time? Was Charles on that team? Charles Tai. Yeah, too, Tai. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We were the guy who went um, padding together for five years in wow. a row, and we we won like four how in a yeah. row. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Yeah. And we were like five times for EDT. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we were. I met, oh, lucky, I met Charles yeah. with Air Tahiti in okay. eight, 2018. Yeah. Yeah, Charles went with uh, Air Tahiti after, and then uh, and then yeah, that's that was the story. Then he had a family. Happening, the <laughs> <laughs> then he had kids. <laughs> yeah, the first the first uh, story with EDT was uh, the uh, the ex big boss who came like in 2010 something like this 2008. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was really passionate uh, about paddling, eh? yeah. and he was really motivated to to because uh, was still uh, Shelva who was leading the pace, eh? mm-hmm. and then because uh, uh, all of the paddlers work 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 there, you know, you you already have that kind of system. You you work for them, you paddle for them, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then this guy was the one who wanna make like the same eh? kind of the same like uh, kind of uh, pick. The one uh, pick the best paddlers around, make a team, eh, and try to match them. Eh? Yeah, and that's how you <coughs> can realize that when you have uh, someone pushing behind eh, to make a project, that's when everything's uh, getting lines too. After you know, because after him, like he was staying in Tahiti like uh, eight years. That's how Edith uh, came came back in front. You know. They were looking for good paddlers who have the qualification to have the kind of job in EDT too, but have a good paddling uh, background, you know, and then paddle for the team and then training every day. And I have some uh, kind of, uh, kind of uh, like, uh, how you say, like a good ambience, you know, to put him, to put environment, a, yeah, yeah, to just put you build a, in a yeah. good, uh, where, where you're to, comfortable to train, yeah, exactly. to train yeah. with each other, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. And then that atmosphere, and yeah, at the same time, every one of us love this sport so much, and then it all went together well, like, like uh, normal things, you know, well, and, and then we were like brothers, yeah, to each other, and then we, it's like was for me when I was young you didn't see the race come you just eat it mm-hmm. right. day by day and winning some lose some little some but most of it winning but don't really take it on the shoulders you know don't really realize what you did but after when you're looking back you're like wow to do like a four years straight in a row the biggest this six man race huh? yeah it's well, something you guys to yeah destroyed that race uh-huh. yeah and I I think about that. But just after the last year uh, we won, uh, the big guy from EDT left. Huh? Uh, and then the, the passion like, left yeah, too. The passion well, left too. Okay. Yeah, the guys yeah. spread too, you know. And then that's how uh, you see the guys from Shell still have the same uh, boss since the beginning. Yeah. It's like 30 yeah. years Continuity, now. Continuity, mm-hmm. consistency. And the, yeah. the amount of uh, <coughs> materials and money they put in is like, four five times ten to ten times uh, yeah mm-hmm. more than uh, most of the team in Tahiti so it's uh, that's why it's really hard to go get them you have to have some passionate guys to push some teams to behind to try to keep up the level you can maybe catch them one race but to keep up the level during the whole season with them it's gonna be hard because when they wake up they're paddling they are like during work they take it easy to go back in the afternoon too you know so that's it's there's no yeah. secret huh? <laughs> you just have to put it on a train put, yeah. put it on a lot of time. time together and then 
make it work. <laughs> what's what's interesting that that <coughs> team, right? That the boys you started with, it it seems like you guys grew together, right? But and this was right before, you know, you guys are great. You know, I, I think mm-hmm. I think you guys are you guys are fast and good, right? You know, between you, Kevin, you know, Rete. But I think it was maybe it sounds like it was like right before there was that individual greatness. You guys mm-hmm. just were a good team, mm-hmm. and then I think mm-hmm. the greatness followed. Uh-huh. Right? Is, uh-huh. it, would you say yeah. that that was that was the case, or uh, yeah, we already have. W- each of us uh, won so many races before getting together. Okay. But uh, yeah, the greatness came along too with the winning See, that you, we built together too. You paddled for, sure. you paddled for each other. Exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. We were like uh, kind of opponent during one man races, but still think about the six man races that yeah. gonna come after. You know. So you really like uh, on the other back. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have a question yeah. about that team. And that in those years, you guys paddled the original Matahina, the wood one. Exactly. And all the Matahinas we see today were all molded and modeled off that canoe. Exactly. So what what was I know you guys were <laughs> all unreal, unbelievable paddlers, but what about that canoe was special? Because at the time you had a bunch of guys making a bunch of different kind of canoes trying to compete. You know, there was a bunch of different canoes in in the race but that Matahina always won those years and then they replicated the Matahina now the top 20 of Ikinui are all Matahinas so but that wood the, the wood Matahina the original Matahina is still in the top five all the time so I know you know I asked Charles this question and I'm curious mm-hmm. uh how you feel about that canoe and and why is it a special canoe um uh, yeah uh, to know, firstly, me, I'm uh, personally, yeah, I'm not the kind of paddlers who are kind of uh, really superstitious about the canoe or okay. something okay. like okay. this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there, but That's there's a bunch know. of yeah. lot of paddlers in Tahiti who have that in mind. It's yeah. kind of traditional, huh? you know. Mana, yeah. That's why before me, I was used to paddle for Timmy too. Huh? Mm-hmm. And Timmy, the real Timmy guy, is uh, is a. Uh, is an old man from uh, from Mahina huh? mm-hmm. who built the canoe, who put his name on the canoe, like yeah. Mark Tehuritawa put his last name on the canoe. You know, he was really passionate about the canoe. Yeah. Really give everything he have every day in the canoe. Me, I came. I was the first junior to win Teito Super Eto. Huh? And then after me, my thing since I was really young is was to work myself on my own canoe. You know. Mm-hmm. And then when I was winning two 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 time Teito with Super Eito with the original Timmy, eh? I was going uh, near to Timmy asking if we can make uh, some changes, some changes, some improvement. I don't know why, but uh, I don't know what yet. Because as I talk to Mark after, I, I I always say to Mark that us paddlers are the best one to describe the feelings of the canoe, you know? Yeah. Yeah. To to make, uh, to know how it's going, mm-hmm. how, how, how hard it is to drive it in the wave or to steer it, huh? how it's going in the flat, but all of it were the best, but after to make the change and the, or the improvement on the, on special place on the canoes. That's why you have to be really close to the shapers to make it. Huh? You know what I mean? You can just like surfing, right? Same thing. Yeah. That's why I always yeah. say to Mac, me, I'm the best one to give my feeling, but to tell you where to change to make this improvement work more, you have to tell me. That's why yeah? I was really, I was really on this idea to put my to make my own model, huh? and then Timmy was. The, the the main one was really like staying on the traditional he was mm. really keeping moving and at the same time just after i had a shoulders injury and then i had the surgery l- uh, not long after and then i was out for uh, a year and a half huh? i was out of the of the paddling sports and then at the same time uh, mark reached me mark reached me and then he proposed me to work together wow. That came at this at the 
same time than my ID to make my own canoe, my own model, you know, and I was I was telling him that, okay, if we work together, we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna change everything in what you have, huh? we're gonna go on, on my kind of vision, you know, huh? I I know that I'm I not the best to tell these things or these things, but I wanted to make my canoes so bad, my, uh, my own one, that... Uh, we work it together and then it took us like four years to build that one we make it no? now. Yeah. And then it was like five, four malls that we make again and again to just make some, that's the things in canoe you have, we have a mother canoe that you paddle with, but at the time you make the mall, it's uh, almost impossible to go back. Eh? You have to make another mall. Yeah. yeah. That's why. I Cut it a bunch of times. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's why with Mark, we work it like, uh, for five years, cut okay. it like many times to get to the canoes we wanted. Because huh? the things it canoe, you have to know that uh, you have the you have two reference of canoes in Tahiti. You have the Timi and you have the Fei. Huh? That's mm. that's the main canoes you have in Tahiti with the Tehuri Tower too. Huh? Right. There's like uh, George or Mike Varney went to Tehuri Tower too before. There was the the one who bring Tehuri Tower had the Timmy and Fay levels too, huh? cause Timmy was the one who were like all the brands, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the things in the Timmy that you have to realize about the shape. We're talking about the shape. Uh, the Timmy is kind of V, huh? mm -hmm. when we look uh, inside. Huh? Yeah, uh, it has a, uh, a keel, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. keel all the you way. The yep. V, huh? yep. And then the Fay is totally the reverse. It's like a really round, really under, round okay. in the bottom. Uh, yep. And then when I work with Mark, I was just like you know in Tahiti now and you don't have only downwind races or up or upwind races yeah all of our races now is like all round races yeah, you know? all over yeah. uh -huh. that's why you gotta have a canoe who who's which is not perfect on this kind of this kind but yeah. can work all around you know that's why the V I think it's nice to cut the wave and to take a, a quick speed point you know easier but after, if you took a wrong lines in the in the wave, it's hard to steer back mm. on the right lines, you know. And then on the reverse side, the uh, the round, the round things under, is make you easier to drive, but hard to have a sp good speed point quicker eh? and to jump the wave, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why with the with the Mac, we just went near those two, you know. Balance, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. A little round, but still keeping that V to still have that speed, mm -hmm. to still keeping in the angle too, you know. That's why it was kind of uh, repetitive work to go on the water, try cut, come back, and yeah. but uh, as you really love and passionate about it, you. Uh, Really put the, work put the time and, in. Yeah. Put the time in. Yeah. It, it sounds why, like uh, it sounds like the timing, right? When you stepped in mm -hmm. with Mark. When I came back from my injury, injury Mark yeah. reached me. Yeah? Yeah. That was the best timing. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Good and reset then, button. Mm -hmm. But I went to Timmy yeah? just before uh, confirming uh, going with Mark. Uh? I went yeah. to Timmy and then Ari, yeah? the Timmy's uh, grandson, was uh, taking the company. Yeah? Uh, he was starting to taking the company on his own, you know, mm -hmm. okay. and I was trying to explain him why I was going, you know, because Timmy was still staying on the trash traditional. You know? Ari was trying to keep it, to keep uh, keep up with me and try to keep me up, but uh, yeah, Mark was like uh, really convinced me to to go, you know, <laughs> yeah. and then we work it together like five five seven years now, yeah, since uh, two thousand. 16 May now, 2016, mm -hmm. like seven years now already. Yeah, time fly. Yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, that's why I was really passionate to begin the work with Mark eh? to really make my own and to really think about the kind of shaping and everything else. And then now I was the first one to make him. He already won Super 8 with uh, George, mm -hmm. but he told me when we met first that his dream was to win the uh, Eto, eh? you know. I was the the one to give him that one, so mm -hmm. that's mean we did the good work too on the canoes uh, shaping, you know. Yeah. And then that was the main vision to have canoes who which is good all around, you know. Yeah. Not only in one condition. Yep. But um, mm -hmm. those three canoes the, are hard. The same kind of level after it's the it's the guy who make the difference, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 
the all of the three brands worked really hard to make to to get to that level you know mm -hmm. it's not they, they didn't get it like this you know right uh -huh. Yeah, it, I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome that you guys got together and did that. I mean, it's a beautiful canoe, and, and you know, you guys uh, have a lot of really good wins under your belt, and it's, uh, I mean, it's something to be proud of. Mm -hmm. You should be proud, yeah, for, for sure. Yeah, sure, for sure. Because from a legacy standpoint, you know, I mean, you're going to paddle <coughs> as, as long as you can, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. But... And you, my vision that this by doing this was for the sports too, mm -hmm. and for the paddlers, right. for the athletes. Right. You know, you leave your mark I'm on the exactly. sport. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I'm not to try to throw me flowers or something, but I think I'm the first one to work like this on my own model and to try to win some things from your from the from your patient from mm -hmm. from the canoes. You know, because yeah. every every champions before they were like really good during their winning, but just after they let paddling they they don't have anything behind so that's why i try to build you know legacy mm -hmm. so before we wrap this up because we're over an hour now i want to know steve how what's your goal for this race this weekend this weekend yeah yeah first race i came i gained like uh, more than 23 kilos from my uh, oh. fits fit shape you know i, wish I was like uh, translate i was like 100 converge i was like 104 conversion. kilo you know yeah and then now i lost like uh 12 kilos so okay. should uh, you're feeling better yeah, yeah. Okay. and i didn't i come here to like another vision from the first one you know so yeah, come here to win. Okay, and, and this is your this Ke is your. Wait, 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 Kevin, what's your what's your what's your goal? To, what's your goal this weekend? It's the same like him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. Come, we come from fra from from Tahiti, you know. It's very far from here, and then we we come for from Tahiti to win. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys gonna have. You say that the first time you saw me with Danny was the most excited, and then you had Hiti Tua yeah. excited, more oh, excited yes. again. I think this weekend is gonna be a lot more exciting because oh, we gonna have you, you uh, like six, seven guys yes, from Tahiti there it is. on the top. Oh, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. gonna be a really I, epic. Uh, you yep. have me, my brothers. You yeah. have Hiti Tua. You have Kyle. You have Hotu. Uh, yeah, and all those guys gonna Man. push it really hard. To be able to, be able to, to call their names in a race <laughs> is gonna just be like for me. It's like this is gonna be so good. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> call those guys names for in a sure. race gonna for be sure. great for sure you know for sure i can't wait for and sure. i'm excited you know like i mean what happens happens i mean you never know but um yeah i just i just excited for the race it's gonna be so much fun yeah i i honestly do think like stevie boy is saying that there's you know because the last couple races has just been you and danny or hiti tua and danny mm -hmm. right where i think this one there's there could be six seven of you exactly. in a pack right exactly Neck to neck. And I think the all the other guys as you as you said uh, earlier, when I came, then he beat me when Hiti Tua came, eh? yeah, he yeah. beat Hiti Tua. Yeah. So all the other guys who came they want to battle with Danny eh? and yeah. they are just right. a little disappointed that yeah. Danny is not here. But you know, I mean, like you said in the first race, the best thing is is that, you know, there's a whole there's a group of guys that are gonna battle out for the win. Yeah. And next year. Yeah, it's next gonna year gonna be really crazy, I think. Because all <laughs> every of, uh, race, so many friends, because it was really quick. But many right. friends were talking to come to for the last one. Right. But it was too, too short, you know, right. to plan it. But I'm sure that next year, if we keep it like this, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be, be good. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. We're gonna we're gonna bring it live. Yeah, live. we're gonna do it on Facebook. So tell it's gonna be a live message yeah. everybody on yeah. Facebook, Facebook on Facebook on live. Newport Aquatic Center Newport Aquatic NAC. Center. Yeah. It'll be on NAC's um, um, Facebook. Facebook. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna do it that way because um, I know you guys can share it down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where gonna, YouTube is a little I'm different. Gonna share something. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. I think we're, there's talks that we might try to convert it to YouTube. Well, after we'll, up, we'll upload it to YouTube after. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna do it live through Facebook so everyone can. Yeah. And even yeah, for sure. Because Facebook is easier to share. Yeah. You know, than YouTube, you know. Well, for, especially for everybody that's out of the country, you know. Exactly. Sure. Sorry. All, yeah. these, all these bugs in here, yeah, it's, like, uh, it's like like we're broadcasting <laughs> in Tahiti right now <laughs> uh, on the back patio. <laughs> it's springtime. Oh, yes. Yeah, and that's another thing, too, is that the climate will be better. Better, yeah. Mm -hmm. It won't be as cold. It should be nice tomorrow. The, the last yep. couple. 
a yep. couple of times. So. Yeah, we already thought that we're gonna be warmer, but as soon as we landed, it was it's like still cold. Yeah, <laughs> still cold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, um, you guys all. If you guys are going to train tomorrow, you're gonna see a lot of people on the water tomorrow. Because even today, all of the Ari and Timmy guys are out on the water today, and mm -hmm. they're they're you know they're showing videos and all that stuff. So nice. you'll have everybody from home out nice. there. It'll be good. Yeah. So. Little things for me. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> so so this is your last race before the solo right <laughs> kaivi solo this is it's this race right because kaivi solo is two weeks from two now weeks. right yeah this exactly is, this yeah it's gonna be the may 14 huh? something yeah, like yeah. two three weeks so okay and then as far as not two weeks exactly yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah, so, yeah you're, you're, you don't have a race next weekend back home in tahiti do you uh, no no okay uh not sure you know in tahiti you're not really sure you yeah, know, yeah, you're you're right, 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 yeah. for you know that you have a race finally, 52 you know? weekends in the year <laughs> and 40 <laughs> races a year so. <laughs> and then fun races Crazy. in between so oh, yeah. a lot yeah yeah <laughs> all right well boys uh thank you guys so much for coming over and and sharing this experience with us and we're excited to call you guys on Saturday. Yeah. And um, yeah, thank you for letting us, you know, get in both of your heads, you know, and, and you know, and this was, it was great to, hey, so, to know um, you guys and get to Stevie, know you guys. Stevie, there's, 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 there's a pleasure. It was a little surprise. I thought that we gonna, it's going to just be an interview about the races. <laughs> but no, nah, nice we like talking about yeah, everything. Nice to know that you guys going to do so, a um, and, Yeah. There's a rumor, yeah, too, yeah, that yeah. you want to talk to Canoes and Cocktails. You want to go on canoes Co and cocktails? cocktails and canoes? Ah, no, no, no. I was just, uh, as Nico told me that you're going to do a podcast and I follow Cocktails and Canoes yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw them, but it's for us, it's sometimes I try to click on the link to try to watch. But I never okay. been able to jump on it. That's why I was just curious to ask Nico how. When, when are you, how, when how are you leaving? You do when are you going back to Tahiti? When do you leave? Uh, next day after the race. Sunday. Oh, Sunday? Yeah. What time Sunday? Uh, night. Night time? Night. At midnight. Yeah. Midnight. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, I was just curious because uh, for us, yeah, it's, it's, mm, I don't know if it's me, but we can't go on the link when you click it. Uh, on Spotify? Then, uh, you don't get Spotify? Uh, or For you to listen uh, to it. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's why I never heard. So yeah. No, we're doing, we're going to, we're going to put this up on YouTube and. We're gonna put this up on yeah, cool Spotify too. Yeah, that video too. Huh? Yeah, yeah we, we we thought that you wanted to. Yeah, me, um, I'm more like old school. Maybe all the other guys on uh, Spotify. Maybe me, I'm still YouTube <laughs> guys, old school, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we'll do YouTube. <laughs> so thanks. But guys. yeah, if you want to get on canoe and cocktails, it's easy. I can tell tell yeah. them tomorrow. Uh, no, no, I was Sunday. not asking. I was just uh, asking Nico how to go watch their Oh, podcast. watch it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 was, yeah. I was trying one time and wasn't able to go on it. And I was just asking Nico yeah. or, or Ryan. Say, uh, Ryan you know what yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they were uh, they were actually going to come over tonight, but they have Jimmy Austin on tonight. They're talking to Jimmy Austin. Uh, okay, cool. But, you know, Jimmy Austin, Jimmy Austin's a great champion, but he's not Stevie Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no disrespect to me. <laughs> okay, thank you boys yeah, so yeah, much, and awesome, thank you for being hey, part of this. Thank and you, thanks, man, man so us. stoked to have you guys, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys on Saturday, and uh, maybe Saturday night we will have uh, other cocktails. Yeah, then uh, the sweetest one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on, guys. Thank, thank you, you so much. Okay, okay. right on. <laughs>